Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Yes. Hey, good evening. Yes, teacher. Good evening. I can hear Looks you. like it's a little hot, Jenny. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, in some parts of El Salvador, as far as I know, it's raining. But in some others, it's really hot because it's probably going to rain later on. But yes. welcome, guys, to the ones that are already here. Thank you so much for being on time. Uh, well, I'm expecting the other ones to connect throughout the session. So how are you guys doing today? How is everything doing today? Did you have a good day? Yes, for me, I have a good day. <laughs> I have a more work, <laughs> more work, but it's I I really enjoy doing me do do my work. Okay, that's good. So if you enjoy what you do, you don't even feel the day. Believe me, when yes. you enjoy your your job, it's like everything goes fast. I don't know why, but you look like a nurse. Are you a nurse? No, no. I I am audited. Audit, so, oh, okay. Yes. But you but look like a I, nurse. I don't know why. Like to IRS. <laughs> <laughs> I work at the Ministerio de Hacienda. <laughs> okay, I know there's a lot of papers there, probably. Yes, but yeah. I, but I can know. Uh, more people and different enterprises. Okay, it's that's... very interesting for, for me. Yeah, that's good. I mean, the more you get to know people, the more I mean, more friends you have. So it's like you get to know people, get you know relationships, and then if you need something from someone, then you have your friend, and this friend can help you out to get something else. Yes. So. Well, I really don't know if it is only going to be four of us today. It's already 8.02. That's really weird. Yes. It's really weird. And only five participants. Yeah, that's really weird today. Well, I don't know what to expect today. Um, well, uh, there's only one person who I see that wrote on the, on the the on the chat saying that it will be late, but the others, I really don't know. Hope everything is okay so we can start. All right, so uh, you know time is running and sometimes one hour is not enough. So we got, we got to start uh, to what we have for today. So today, guys, once again, we are going to have uh, some practices uh, when it comes to speaking. Um, and also, um, we're just going to have a little review when it comes to models. I know that some of you yesterday were having just a little bit of issue trying to understand how to use some of them. Today, we're just going to have a general review of all of them, just in case you already forget forgot them. And... Um, well, uh, some exercises and, you know, a speaking activity as well. So that's what we're going to have for today. So let me start sharing my screen so we can get started. Let's see. Um, well, uh, another question before we move on. Are you guys uh, moving on with the platform? Are you guys having any situation with the platform or everything is going okay? Does any one of you have any situation going on or are you all working on the platform? I haven't finished the section, section number three, but today after the class, I will try to complete, complete it. Okay. Okay, that's good. All right. So remember, um, tomorrow is going to be our eighth class. So... I haven't even filled two weeks. Two weeks are about to finish, you know. Time is like running. It's like, wow. If you don't do something during the day, then you feel that you did nothing. So, but but that's how, how life it is. So let me just start sharing my screen. Let me see, okay. All right. Can you guys see the model verbs? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Good. Yes, Thank teacher. you. 
All right. So, um, well, so we're just going to have, as I said, just a little review. It's not going to take too long. We're just going to, you know, go one by one just for you to remember. And then we're going to move on to the to the speaking activity, which is the most important for, part for today. Uh, today, we're going to have like an open activity when it comes to speaking. Why? Because we're going to be uh, using one question and based on that question, everyone is going to be working on. Let's see, there is one. Okay. All right. So, okay. So let's see. I would like to have uh, Mr. Francisco Alberto. Can you please go ahead and help me reading this slide? All of it, please. Okay, teacher. Good evening. Uh, Good evening. What are the model birds? I'm sorry, say it again. What are the model birds? Uh, I don't know if I'm if I'm misunderstanding, but are you saying are? <laughs> sorry, what are model birds? Okay, what are <laughs> sorry, teacher? Yeah, sorry, I was sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what's going on in here? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, teacher. No, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Model birds express modally, ably, possibly. Say it yes. again. Say this one again. Okay. Modally. Modality. Modality, sorry. Abli ability. 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 Possibly. Possibility. Possibly. Possibility. Possibly. Possibility. Sorry. No, that's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Say repeat it again. Possibility. Okay. Possibility. Okay. Okay. Nes necessary. Necessity. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> necessity. Necessity. No. Necessity. Okay. Probability. 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 No. Once uh, again, probability. Pro probability. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 no sé cómo se pronunciaría. Uh, oh, oh. Obligation. 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 Sorry. Or other conditions. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'll stop Thanks, it there. Uh, Thanks, I, yeah, I'm sorry. Ros no, that's okay. Rosemary, I want to listen to you. You've been so quiet during this course. So I want to listen to you, Rosemary. I remember your face from previous courses, but I want to 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 hear you speaking today. Repeat the same, exactly the same thing. Read it. Only read. And model versus express model. Modality. Ability. Okay. Possibility. Okay. Necessary. Necessity. Necessity, probability, obligation, or order condition. Okay, here obligate. We don't say obligation. No, it's not obligation. It's like if you're uh, arriando pollos, right? Obligation. Obligation. Okay. Obligation. That's right. Very good. Okay. okay. Good. Thank you. Now, uh, can I have Daisy reading the examples, please? Daisy, go ahead. I can cook Hillary recipes. It Italian recipes. Italian recipes. Can someone tell me what is a recipe? What's recipe? Una receta. Receta, exactly. Italian recipes. Go ahead. Thank you, Daisy. Daisy, number two. Continue, please. Okay. You could use my pen. Mm hmm I would like a cup of coffee, please. A cup of coffee, please. Okay, now, can someone tell me when it comes to pronunciation, what is the difference that we do in American English between poder y lata? Can someone tell me what's the difference in pronunciation? Poder y lata. Can and can. Can and can. Do the others agree? 
Raise your hand if you think that what the arriving said is correct. Raise your hand. Okay. Arturo and Rafael, Wendy. Okay. So let's see. So the others, if you didn't raise your hand, it's because you 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 don't agree, do you? So we're saying that if I want to say, let me write an example in here. No, below here, so that will make sense. Uh, let's see. Now, I would like to listen, let's see, uh, let me listen, Ricardo. Can you please make the difference or read the first one? This one right here, these two. Can you read them all? Both. Yeah, teacher. I can cook Italian recipes. Recipes. Mm -hmm. Two recipes, okay. Coca-Cola can is very expensive. Okay, thank you. Now, let me listen to you. Uh, uh, let's see. Wendy, are you here? Oh, yes. I see you. There you are. Go ahead and read the same thing. I can cook Italian recipes. Coca-Cola skin is very expensive. Okay, now let me listen to you. Um, let's see. Maritza. The same thing. The same. Mm -hmm. I can cook Italian recipe. Coca-Cola's can is very expensive. Okay, now, all of you, the three of you that I asked you, you said, you said can and can. Now, I'm asking myself, did you notice that both of them are completely different? So here we're saying poder, I can cook, puedo cocinar. And here, what are we saying in here? Is the lata. Possibility. We're saying la lata de Coca-Cola is muy cara. So I'm not saying poder in here. I'm saying can. So that's can, 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 can. Now, let me ask you this. If you ever listen to someone who speaks British English, does that change? Do they pronounce it like the same as in American English? Or do they pronounce it differently? What do you guys think? They pronounce differently. Do you know what's the difference? It's like they can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the the another I don't I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the difference, guys, between British accent and American accent when it comes to this specific word, only in American accent we make a little difference when it comes to pronunciation. In American accent, we're going to say can for poder and can to mean lata, okay? But in British accent, it doesn't matter if you're saying poder or lata, the pronunciation is going to be the, the same. So which one is it? Can. You're gonna say, I can cook. So can and can is going to be the same only in British accent. Remember that only in British accent. So what is going to give you the difference between either one of them? Obviously the context. Okay. So automatically, once you listen to the context, that is going to give you the, you know, the answer, either they are referring to poder or in this case, they are going to be referring to lata. Are we clear on that? Good. All right, let's move on then. 
Let me just keep on moving in here already. Jesus Christ, it's not working. All right, so here we have some things that we have to remember when it comes to model verbs. They are complementary verbs. What does it mean? That as it says there, model verbs do not work without another verb. Why? Model verbs are not conjugated. And they have no tenses. Let's go back to this. Would it be okay if I say I can Italian recipes? I can Italian recipes. Will that make sense to you? Not right, because I will be saying yo puedo recetas italianas. I mean, in Spanish, we obviously will understand it. You know, that's one thing that we have to forget. Never mix. Spanish with English because some things that we say in Spanish are not the same in English so we never have to translate in our minds that's the first mistake that we do I completely understand that translating and then speaking is one of the common things that we do right but once you are on the language every day, it's like your mind starts thinking in English and it comes automatically. Like if you were born speaking the language, I know it gets, it takes a lot of time for you to get to reach that point, but you can do it. So we have to really avoid translating from Spanish to English because uh, uh, sometimes it will not make sense at all. So that's what that's what we're talking about. Model verbs do not work without another verb. I can never say you could my pen. You see, it's really necessary the verb over there. And also we are never going to conjugate them. Why they have not tenses. Those are two really things that you have to keep in mind because they are really important. Uh, well, one question. Have you been studying the tongue twisters? Because we have them for tomorrow. Have you been studying them? Honesty. Um, I tried. To me, I tried. Yes. You tried. Okay, at least you tried. That's something. What about the others? Are you have you been studying tongue twisters? Have you memorized them? I'm the first to. teacher. The first yeah. one. Yeah, the first one. Who said yeah? Yeah, me, Jose Arturo. Oh, okay. So you already know them. That's uh, good. Uh, my tongue is... <laughs> I know it's... I know, I know. That's, that's something that, I mean, it's going to take you a while probably to memorize it. But of course, it's going to help you. Uh, well, tomorrow we're going to have that activity. Now, just for you to remember, and I'm not going to stop or uh, to have a lot of time within this, because this is something that we already know. We're just having a little review for you uh, to remember some little details that you might have forgotten. Okay, so now we have uh, the positive sentences. How do we create a sentence using model verbs? Subjects, model verb, plus the verb, plus the complement. We have some examples. I should go to the museum. See, you should go to the museum. Now, she can eat pizza. Something very important. We do not modify the verb in third person when we are using model verbs. Why don't we do that? Because that is something that comes with the grammar. So we are never going to say she can eat, right? Because that will be grammatically incorrect. So that's something that we have to remember. Every single time that we use a model verb, the verb in third person is never going to be modified, okay? But of course, if you guys have any question or someone has any question uh, so far, you can, of, of course, ask if you're not understanding. Because in my understanding, you already know this. So we're just having a little review. Now, uh, 
talking about negative ones, we have pretty much the same thing as the other one. What is going to be the difference? The only difference is that right after the model verb, we're going to add the word not. So for example, you should not go to the museum or we use the contraction, you shouldn't. Now, let me listen to everyone's make, every one of you making this pronunciation, this one and this one. We're going to start by Arturo Ramirez, both of them. Uh, you know, the contraction and not contracted. Go ahead. You should not go to the museum. You shouldn't go to the museum. Okay. This one, we don't make the pronunciation of the letter D. We only say shouldn't. Shouldn't. So this one, instead of saying D, we make like a little R. Shouldn't, shouldn't. Shouldn't. Okay, thank you. Now this one. Um, she can, she can not eat pizza. Pizza. Okay, now we'll go with Maritza. She can't eat pizza. No, this one right here. And the first. You should not go to the museum. You shouldn't go to the museum. Student. Okay. This one? She, she can't eat pizza. She cannot eat pizza. Debbie, can you please go ahead, Debbie? Yes, sir. Go ahead, please. Uh, you should not go to the museum. You shouldn't go to the museum. Great. Mm -hmm. She can't uh, eat pizza. Okay, this one, it's very important that you make the little T sound at the end. Can't. Can't. Uh, she can't. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Eat pizza. She cannot eat pizza. Thank you very much. That was good. Jenny, go ahead, please. Uh, you should not go to the museum. You shouldn't go to the museum. She can't eat pizza. She cannot eat pizza. Okay, pit, uh, pizza. We, pizza. Okay, good. Francisco, do the same thing, please. Um, you should not and shouldn't go to the museum. She can't. Cannot hit pizza. Repeat this one again, please, and make the, the little T sound more clear. Okay. She can't, cannot hit pizza. Okay, it's not heat, it's eat. Cause ah, if you... Sorry, sorry, heat. <laughs> no, eat, because if, okay. if you say eat. heat, it's like, you know, the heat, mm. el calor, okay? Okay, okay, sorry, teacher. Okay, that's okay. Eat. Pizza. Okay. Rosemary, go ahead, please, Rosemary. Excuse me. Um, you shall go to the museum? No, you should not. Oh, okay. You shall not. Go no, say it again. Should. Should. You should. No. Should not, okay. Should not go to the museum. No sé cómo se pronuncia museum. Museum. Me or me? Museum. 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 Um, you should them go to the You should them? No, not choose. Remember the pollos. Shouldn't. You shouldn't. No, not true. Like like that's the like. No, shouldn't. No, remember pollos. Like make the sound like if you have pollos in your house, it's like shh, that's the sound that we want. That's the sound. Shouldn't. You shouldn't. Excellent. There you go. Mm -hmm. God, the museum. Okay. Then she can. She can. can can't. She can't mm -hmm. eat pizza. Mm -hmm. She can't eat pizza. 
cannot, okay? Okay. Wendy, let's go with you, Wendy. Um, you shouldn't, you should not go to the museum and you shouldn't go to the museum. Mm -hmm. She can't eat pizza and she cannot eat pizza. Thank you very much. That was really good. Daisy, let's go with you. You shouldn't not. You should not first. You, okay. You should not. Shouldn't mm -hmm. go to the museum. Okay. She can't. Okay. Cannot eat pizza. Okay, it's not, it's neither pizza, pizza, we say pizza with the T, pizza, okay? Now arriving, okay, okay please arriving. Okay, you should not go to the museum and you shouldn't go to the museum. And she can't eat pizza and she cannot eat pizza. Okay, thank you. Alejandro, let's go with you, Alejandro. Give me a second, please. Excuse me. Okay. I have two real. What exactly, teacher? I'm sorry. Uh, no, that's okay. that. Yeah, this is what we're just repeating. Okay. You should not. You shouldn't go to the museum. Mm -hmm. She cannot. Or she can or she cannot eat pizza. Okay, uh, so I was saying here, please make the, the sound of the letter T more clear. Can't. Can't. Can. Okay. Nadia, let's go with you. Thank you, Alejandro. My pleasure. You, you should not go to the museum. You shouldn't go to the museum. She can eat pizza. She can't. cannot can't uh, eat pizza. She cannot eat pizza. Okay, Janira. Um, good evening, teacher. Good evening. You should not go to the museum. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't go to the museum. She can't eat pizza and she cannot eat pizza. Okay, now we go with uh, Filomena. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. You should not go to the museum. You shouldn't go to the museum. Say this one again. Shouldn't. No, shouldn't. Shouldn't. Excellent. Shouldn't, shouldn't go to the museum. She can't eat pizza. She cannot eat pizza. Thank you, Wilbur. Well, it looks like he's not here. So, Rafael, then. Well, he's not here either. Noemi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, you should not go to the museum. You shouldn't go to the museum. Okay. She can eat pizza. She cannot eat pizza. Okay. All right, so Sonia. You should not go to the museum. You shouldn't go to the museum. She can't eat pizza. She cannot eat pizza. And we'll finish with Javier. Javier, I'm sorry. You should not go to the museum. You shouldn't go to the museum. She can't eat pizza. She cannot eat pizza. Okay. All right. So we're good so far. And let's move on then with the next one. Uh, well, that's just a little reminder that we did not modify the third person. Now we go with the questions. And in this part, remember that we can use two. 
we can have either a WH question at the beginning or we can easily only use the model verb. What does it mean? The first, the first one is with the WH question at the beginning. Then we have the model verb, the subject, and then the verb, and of course, the question mark at the end. Now we have some examples. Where should we go? What can you eat? So here we're using a WH question before the model verb, but we can also have another uh, one, which is the model verb at the beginning, then the subject, then the verb, and then a complement. Now let's find that out. Let's see. And here we have the examples. Should we go to the museum? Can you eat pizza? So as you can see here, we're no longer using a WH question. Now, uh, does any one of you can uh, explain to me what it will be the difference? If I ask you, where should we go? Let's see, let's have, can I have a volunteer? Someone that says me? Hello teacher, I'm here. Okay, if I ask you, where should we go? What what would your answer be? In this case, the model bear is the, is the question mark. You, you need to change the position when you use uh, the model bear for ask a question. Uh, what um, no. what so do you, you say? I'm sorry, me, go ahead. Tell me, sorry. So in this case, it's similar when you use the, for example, in this case, fear, when you say the positive answer, you say, uh, we should go. So in this case, we, it is a question, you change the position of the model verb. You can point first the model verb in, uh, after the, the, the WH question. Okay, but if I, a... if I ask you this question to you, like if we're having a conversation and I ask you, where should we go? What would your answer be? We should we should go the beach, for example. Or we should go the discotheque. Okay, so we so should... we we're still having the same problem that we had at the beginning, Ricardo. Remember to be more careful when you refer to playa. Okay, because oh, yeah. we we <laughs> yeah, talked so. we talked about already. Okay, so be you, careful. You teacher, really, really, I don't like the beach. <laughs> I don't, don't know what happened with, on my mind. Always okay. Say, yeah, I always say the same. Sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. So um, we have to be more careful in that because what you said right now is what not really what you meant. Okay. I understood another thing, yeah. but it's because of that little pronunciation. Okay. Let's be more careful and try to you know to practice a little more the difference between the one and the other. Okay just for you not to have that, okay? But that, that was good. Now, no, that's okay. That's why we're here, because we're learning. Now, let's see, my uh, Francisco, Alberto, if I ask you, uh, can you eat pizza? What would your answer be? Uh, repeat the, repeat the, the, the question, sorry, teacher. Can you eat pizza? Um... <laughs> No sé cómo contestar, sorry. That's okay. Can someone I, tell I me? Have you. I have you. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I, I can. That's um, this. No, yeah. In my case, mm -hmm. I, no, no, I cannot eat pizza. Okay, right. So you either say, yes, I can. Or you say, no, I can't, or I cannot eat pizza, okay? Either or, okay? But that was good. Now, uh, here we have all the model verbs that we have in English. And I want to listen to your pronunciation, and we're going to start by Ricardo. Ricardo, go ahead and pronunciate. Let's see. Uh... Oh, sorry to hear that, Francisco. I'm really sorry to hear that. That's a really bad situation. I know it's it's not it's not good, you know, to get fired, but you will get something better, okay? Don't worry about okay, that. Teachers, thanks. <laughs> oh, yeah, best totally. best things are yet to come, okay? So don't worry about that. Now, Ricardo, 
Go ahead, please. Can, could, may, might, will. Okay, this one, all of them. Would, would, shy, should, must, up, up, up to. Okay, okay, let's see. Wendy, can I have you participating in here? Can, could, may, might, will. Uh, like all of them. Okay. Will, shall, should, must, offer. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, arriving. Is he here? Uh, can, oh, yeah. could, may, might, will, will, shall, should, must, auto. Okay, Alejandro. Can, could, may, might, will, will, shall, should, must, up to. Okay, uh, let's listen to the last person. Can I have a volunteer? Me. me, okay. I don't know who was me, but go ahead. Filomena. Oh, Filomena. <laughs> go ahead, Filomena. <laughs> okay, can, could, may, Okay, may. hear what you said. Uh, it's like, cool. I, I heard. Yeah. Cool, yeah. cool. Dole, dole o. That, dole that's, what, o. that's what I heard. C-O-O-L, yeah. -O -O -L, yeah. Could, remember, this could. is could. Could, yeah. Mm. Can, could, may, my, will, will, shy, should, must, up to. Okay, this one we can say auto. Auto, or auto? we can say uh -oh. odd too, okay? Mm -hmm. So now let me repeat them all. And if you can repeat them after me there with your microphone off, that will be fantastic. So can, could, can, could, might, will, would, shall, should, must, and we can say this one auto or odd too, okay? Um this one, it's very old English. So it means that this one right here, you can only find it, you know, in all books, in all versions of books. But this one, ought to and shall are very old English. But still, it's necessary or important that you know them all. Now, we're going to go to the practice, which is the speaking activity, guys. And we're going to be working in groups. What's going to be the speaking activity about? First of all, uh, I will need you to complete some little exercises, which is not going to be difficult for you due to the fact that you already know about model verbs. Now, um, the other part is going to let me share it so you can have it. Now, this one. Oh, this is not the one I wanted. Okay, let me see what what just happening here. Jesus. Okay. Oh, yeah, there. Here we go. Already. Oh, my Lord, what's going on in here? Does someone know what's going on with, with my... Jesus Christ. What's going on? It doesn't let me like to show you exactly the one I want to show you. It's like, I don't know, like the destiny is, destiny is doing something. It's like it doesn't want you to work. But this is what I want to share with you. Let me try to put it on. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Now, here we have. This is the activity we're going to be working with. What's that about? First of all, we only have one, two, three, four, five, six uh sentences in which what you are going to do it's going to simply identify whether you use each one of the ones that we have between parentheses now the speaking activity is going to be about this question what do you think about clim climate change what do you think about climate climate change? What's that? What do you think? What's your opinion regarding to that? I will be checking all of the groups 
and I want to see everyone participating. If I do not see you participating or talking, I will not take your attendance for today. You have to say at least something, okay? You don't have to be a ghost. The reason why we're here, it's because we want to practice, you know? Outside, we only speak Spanish. If you go to get tortillas, you speak Spanish. You don't say to the lady, oh, you know what? Give me one dollar of tortillas. You don't say that, do you? You say, deme un dólar de tortillas, right, in Spanish. So we have this one hour for us to practice, and that's what we're going to do. Now, let's see. Uh, okay, there we go. Please go ahead, guys, and join your groups, and I will be checking you all, okay? Compartir la imagen. Hello, teacher. I, I know, I know, um, no me no acuerdo cómo se dice en inglés. No puedo compartir pantalla. I'm not able to. Oh, I already gave you permission, so go ahead. Okay. Give me a moment. Uh, please. Um... Okay. Um, find. Can you see? It's starting. Okay. It's okay? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Yes. Um, can you help me? Yes. Yeah, number one. Okay, can you help? Let me have a piece of teacher. I already have a hyper. Okay, okay, thanks. The number two. They want to win. Okay. They. We only have. This is an obligation. We only have four, four more verbs. The option may, might, will, must. You will not. Amen. But in this case, she says that it's good, but I think it's must. Mm. But no? as I was telling you, it depends on the context because I can yes. say one. I can say one. Of, I can say that to one of my friends and tell him like a suggestion, but in the but inside you know that this is an obligation you, mm -hmm. uh, well you must not drink and dry yes you i think too and then number number four and the number, number. i must i must yeah. i must you must not drink yes. and dry I yes. think it's must. You must not drink and drive. It can be. Because it's a suggestion, I don't know. Yes, it is. You are right. Okay, the third is must. Okay, number number four. Number four. Mm. Meaning of wool. 
I I think it's good. Good to always. Good. Yes, good to I, always. I think that good. yeah, but what is the ex, uh, exact meaning of good? Would uh, Alejandro it does not have uh, a translation by itself? What would does is that if you have a verb next to would, it will give the termination ria. For example, if you say I would study, estudiaría. If you say okay. I would drink, bebería. You know what I mean? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thanks. <sighs> Would you always be late? Yeah. I think it's okay. Yeah. They, they would work less. Maybe it's good. They would. Number five is. Don't get confused. Uh, in the number five is they to work less. Yes. And it has two. Mm -hmm. And it has two. And if you have two, uh, I think you can't use may, might, and would, must. It must be auto. I would know. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm getting confused with that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's is is my? It's my. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Because may, might, would, and must. In my opinion, don't... is will. No. Okay. It's, okay. Sorry. In the, in the number five, um, in the number where five, it's not possibility. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Number five. Out. Out to. Yeah, I think it's out. Of. Out to. Mm -hmm. Number five. Okay, I agree. How to? How to? The last one. Uh, I have. I have a question. Uh, uh, I use O to to word less. They 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 O they O to to word less is correct. Mm. I think it's no no. Because I don't know. <laughs> the num the last. I would. Um, yes, the number six. Most. The no, I'm sorry. Okay, and the number and the number five. You can hear me. And the yes. number five. And the number five is out. They out to to work less. Okay. Um, no. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, okay. In my case, it's very, very slow. So it can be uh, the main uh -huh. or good or good. I think it's good, but we have to. We have two options. Uh -huh. May and good. Okay. And number six is will. 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 Okay. okay. I will like to go to New York someday. For me, if I would like, I would like to go to the New York someday. It can be. Huh? Yes. In the number, in the number seven, in the number when in the initial number five, with what's the answer for you? I, I I start. Can you yeah. help me? <laughs> Can yeah. you help me? Uh, they should practice more if they want to win the championship. You must not drink and drive. 
Will you always be late? They are up to, to work late. Let's, I would like to go to New York Sunday. Sunday. Uh -huh. Hello, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I'm listening. Okay. <laughs> So, okay. it, so if you already finished this part, remember that you have that question there and you have, I will ask any, someone of this group, I will, ha, I will ask someone about this question. What do you think about climate change? So let's okay. discuss a little bit about that now. Okay, teacher. Richard. How, but how, how what do you stop. think about uh, what what's change. what's the question i'm sorry i heard uh, in this case we chose uh, o2 oh yeah o2 but then uh, it's only one two not two two okay, okay. Mm -hmm. change all of them yeah, yeah, I think all the climate change in this case, the weather is changing a lot. Sometimes it's really hot and sometimes it's really cold. Most of the time in the night, at night. <laughs> what do you think about it? About what, sorry? Climate change. Do you understand what climate change is, Janita? Uh, okay, so weather? that's, yeah, weather, weather. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh. Weather change? It's the same. And it's like cambio climatico. That's what we're going to say, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, what do you think about climate? Uh, some people said that is is a lie. That is more for political interest. That's that's a good that's a good answer. <laughs> and about sci that. scientific sci sci. Scientific teacher. Scientifics. Scientifics. Or, 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 or scientists. What do you want to say? Scientists Scient or scientific? Yeah, sci scientifics. Okay. Um, I read uh, one opinion. A uh, uh, raining, I don't know what, but very strong raining, right? Yes, how do you say como un frente frío o una cosa? Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, have, I don't know. <laughs> <for France. laughs> how can you say frente frío, teacher? <laughs> when we say when we say frente frío, we we well that word really does not exist in like if we translate it literally. So we say okay. high temperatures. That's what we say it. Uh, high temperatures. Uh huh. Okay. Or and and temperature the, the raising. Stick is uh, maybe it maybe it's rainy, but in Santana City it's not rainy. <laughs> it's very hot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. but before uh, wasn't hot, right? Since maybe since fifteen years old. Ago. Ago. Ago, excuse me, yes. <laughs> yes, in the past. In... What can I do for you? And number two. They should practice more if they want to win the championship. They? They should. They will not. They will not 
screen on the right. Where you have a problems connecting or I mean I, I saw you getting in and out. Here it's raining and it's taking me out every time it yeah. can. Yeah, I know it's 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 it is started to rain here as well. So I guess it's raining all over the the all over El Salvador, I guess, like the whole country. Probably. It is raining and it's very nice. I know it's very difficult. If you wouldn't uh, have like uh, your earphones, you probably wouldn't be able to to listen to what I'm saying. I actually I had to turn uh, up the volume. The volume because okay. I because I couldn't hear my part my classmates. Okay. All right. Now, let's see. I have here the list of the groups or the people that were working in each one of the groups. For example, in group number one, I have Debbie, Francisco, Maritza, Sonia, and Janita. Can I have a volunteer from you guys or do will I have to choose? Okay, so I'm going to say... Sonia Araceli, what do you think about climate change? Is she here? She's not here, is she? Or Janira, uh, Janira, tell me, tell me your opinion, please, Janira. Um <laughs> In my opinion, uh, the planet is older and that like the anything uh, is dying. The planet is dying because it doesn't work good like at the beginning, I think. And there are many theories about the climate, climate change. Climate and change. Cl climate. And for example, one uh, uh, some some scientific think that uh -huh. scientific think that the, it's a big lie. It's only for uh, political interest and uh, about the cl cl climate change. Ch climate change. Um, for example, if you if you know that the ex-president uh, Trump uh, never, never believed in the climate change. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. And, but uh, another people think that uh, it's only publicity or another interest. In my opinion, I think the, the planet is older. Uh, other scientists think that the the planet, the Earth planet, so your, uh, his rotation is more uh, slowly, and for that reason, the song is very high. Okay, okay, that was a really good opinion. Like it was very, very structured. Wow, that's a very strong opinion, actually. Now, Wendy, let me listen to you. I see you want to participate, so let me listen to you. Well, I think you're speaking, but you have your microphone off. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, I think the climate, climate change is because um, the overpopulation uh, uh, for all of our technology um, deforestation, um, the extincting animals. I don't know if that is the correct. Well, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? Animal extinct. 
o es extinct animals. Extinct animals. Mm -hmm. And um, because the planet has a lot of years and it, I read something about the planet uh, every... Okay, I'm um, going to stop you there. You read or you read? I read. Okay. Okay. I read about the planet in, in uh, I don't know how to say, in un lapso de tiempo. In a lapse uh, of time or, or in okay. a period of time? In a period of time is like reset. And because uh, for that, it ha exists that um, theory about the meteorito. How do we say meteorito? Does anyone know? Crash in Earth and all disappear. No. Uh, I don't know if that is true. But... You have a good point, Wendy. <laughs> okay, uh, does anyone know how to say meteorito? Okay. Meteor? How, how do we say it? Meteor? Meteor? It's who like, said something? Like, like the movie. Right. Mm, that's a homework, guys. So I'm going to take, I'm going to be taking... Every single word that you are not able to say, I'm going to be taking taking it and I will be asking you every single day regarding to that, okay? We're going to be working on speaking and also pronunciation and also vocabulary. That's what I'm checking, okay? And the last participation that I want to have today, I don't know, Alejandro, if you are available? Yes, teacher. Okay. I'm available. Go ahead, please. Okay, for me, the climate change, mm -hmm. um, maybe the, the, the main problem of the climate, climate change mm -hmm. is the, of course, uh, the human, right? Humans, yeah. The, yeah, humans, because uh, we do a lot of things that, that um, benefit our simple life. Mm -hmm. or maybe um, a life more comfortable for us. But this, uh, this kind of, of action or um, um, technology mm -hmm. affects or damage the, the climate. Damage, okay. Uh, for example, the CO2, CO2 emissions. Mm -hmm. um, in I don't know uh, the in in my opinion the bad use about the water yeah um, and I don't know an, another kind of, of, of abuse of the uh, sources natural resources yes natural resources okay yeah. that's really good thank you very much guys as you can see it's not the same speaking with your classmates like be speaking in front of everybody. Like the ideas that you had, you forget them all automatically. But that's what we're trying to do here, you know, to help you uh, every single day that we can. Now, remember, guys, a reminder, tomorrow we have the tongue twisters. I need everyone to be ready for tomorrow because that will count as part of your attendance. Okay. I want you to at least try, okay? At least try. But please, don't lie to me because I was a student as well, okay? So some of you might, might probably tell me, oh, you know what, teacher? I was working the whole day and I couldn't even do anything. I didn't have like neither 10 minutes. That was, that was so hard. I know, <laughs> but you can just be repeating in your brain, you know, like try to do something at least try that's what i want you to do that we're going to have that activity tomorrow so thank you very much and sorry for taking six minutes of your time and i hope to see you all tomorrow and hope you have a good night okay and see you all guys tomorrow okay Bye. 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 wonderful night, night. Good night. Good night.
Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.